Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson 13, expressions with rational numbers. Problem number one from seventh grade unit four, lesson three. A, a coffee maker's directions say to use two tablespoons of ground coffee for every six ounces of water. How much coffee should you use for 33 ounces of water? Two tablespoons for every six ounces of water. That's a ratio of two to six. Two divided by two equals one, and six divided by two equals three. That's a ratio of one to three. One tablespoon of coffee for every three ounces of water. The question asks, how many tablespoons of coffee for 33 ounces of water? 33 divided by three is 11, and three times 11 is 33. If we multiply the number of ounces of water by 11, then we can multiply the number of tablespoons by 11. One times 11 is 11. So when you're using 33 ounces of water, you'll need to use 11 tablespoons of coffee. B, a runner is running a 10 kilometer race. It takes her 17.5 minutes to reach the 2.5 kilometer mark. At that rate, how long will it take her to run the whole race? It takes her 17.5 minutes to run 2.5 kilometers. Let's use this information to help us find out how long it took to run one kilometer. 2.5 divided by itself equals one. So we have one kilometer. Now we need to divide the other side by 2.5. 17.5 minutes divided by 2.5 equals seven minutes. Well, we know that it takes seven minutes to run one kilometer. They ask, how long will it take to run the whole race? And the whole race is 10 kilometers. 10 divided by one is 10. And one kilometer times 10 equals 10 kilometers. Now we need to multiply the minute side by 10. Seven minutes times 10 equals 70 minutes. At this rate, it'll take the runner 70 minutes to run 10 kilometers. Problem number two from seventh grade unit four, lesson 10. The price of an ice cream cone is $3.25, but it costs $3.51 with tax. What is the sales tax rate? $3.51 minus $3.25 is 26 cents. So the tax is 26 cents. And the question is, what is the sales tax rate? We need to ask this question. 26 cents is what percent of $3.25? 0 0.26 divided by 3.25. That equals 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths, which is 8%. So the sales tax rate is 8% because the sales tax, 26 cents, is 8% of the price of the ice cream, $3.25. Problem number three. Find the value of each expression. A, negative 22 plus five. We certainly have more negatives than we do positives, so this answer is going to be a negative. And the difference between 22 and five is 17. So negative 22 plus five equals negative 17. B, negative 22 minus negative five. I like to think of this as negative 22 and the opposite of negative five. And the opposite of negative five is positive five. So the value of this expression is the same as expression A, negative 22 plus five. That equals negative 17. C, this is a negative times a negative, so we know the answer is going to be a positive. And 22 times five, we could think of that as 20 times five, which is 100 plus two times five, which is 10. And 100 plus 10 is 110. So negative 22 times negative five equals positive 110. D, this is a negative divided by a positive, so we know the answer is going to be a negative. 22 divided by five. We can think of that as 20 divided by five, which is four, plus two divided by five, which is two fifths. So the value for this expression is negative four and two fifths or negative four and four tenths. 
Problem number four from seventh grade unit four, lesson seven. Two students are both working on the same problem. A box of laundry soap has 25% more soap in its new box. The new box holds two kilograms. How much soap did the old box hold? Do you agree with either of them? Explain or show your reasoning. I agree with the way Lynn set up her double number line. The soap in the old box represents 100% and the new box holds 25% more than that. 100% plus 25% equals 125%. The new box weighs two kilograms and is 125% more than the old box. Problem number five. The value of X is negative one fourth. Order these expressions from least to greatest. Well, the information tells us that x is worth negative one-fourth, so this x is worth negative one-fourth. One minus x is the same as one minus negative one-fourth, or one and the opposite of negative one-fourth, which is positive one and one-fourth. x minus one is the same as negative one-fourth minus one. That has the same value as negative one-fourth plus negative one, which has a value of negative one and one-fourth. Finally, negative one divided by x. That's the same as negative one divided by negative one-fourth. It's also a negative divided by a negative, so we know the answer is going to be a positive. We can find the value by multiplying one times the reciprocal of one-fourth. That would be one times four over one, or one times four. In this case, negative one divided by x equals positive four. Now, all we have to do is order them from least to greatest. x minus one, x, one minus x, and negative one divided by x. Problem number six. Here are four expressions that have the same value negative one-half. Write five expressions, a sum, a difference, a product, a quotient, and one that involves at least two operations that have the value negative three-fourths. Let's start with an addition expression, negative one plus one-fourth. That'll provide us with a sum that has the value of negative three-fourths. For the difference, we'll use a minus sign in the expression negative one minus a negative one-fourth. That's similar to our first example with the plus sign because the opposite of a negative is a positive. Negative one minus a negative one-fourth is the same as negative one plus one-fourth. Next, we we'll use a multiplication symbol. Negative one times three-fourths. And that also gives us a value of negative three-fourths. For the quotient, we'll use the division symbol, negative one divided by four thirds. That's the same as negative one times the reciprocal of four thirds, which also has the value of negative three fourths. For this last one, we need to involve two operations. Let's involve division and subtraction. One divided by four minus one. Since one divided by four is one fourth and one fourth minus one equals negative three fourths, this expression has the value of negative three fourths. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.